Raynette finally releases the bazaar. Regina Kilburn is elected for president. That's his daughter. Walk in Greece has buffed yet again. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to find something about uh, being sued. Bro! 2018 Rickfall! Ah. Spent all night playing Raynard's card game as a kid playing games. Sparked this magical feeling full of possibilities. Felt it all again. This morning I decided to invest my entire life savings to fully fund the project. Oh, 2018! Oy, oy, oy. Eating a chat or almost spilled. Aww. And then they had like a beef about the bazaar. Man. Yeah, I remember this. Besides Reynard ever playing the bazaar. I wonder what happened. I like with, with the bazaar. Like why the fuck does it take so long? I know games do take a lot of time for uh, like development. But that seems very, very excessive. Like, Jesus. I think they, they went through a lot of, like, redesigning and stuff and starting over again. The Bazaar is pro Hearthstone player Reynard's take on CCG. Yeah, but never, nobody ever gets to see it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Like, when you start promoting a game five years before it comes out, or six years, because it will come out in 2024, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regis says, okay, so my crazy or is backpack battles basically the same loop as the bizarre gameplay that was tested years ago. Seems BB evolved it and beat them to the market and it's blowing up. Did Noodle have a huge hit and miss the window here? He did! Uh, but it's his own fault. Like, he did... How do you make early development videos and expect nobody to take inspiration of it? But I said, I think it's not even... Bad if it's similar, Backpack Battles awakened a lot of people that they like this kind of game. Once Bazaar comes out in five years, people will try it out for sure. And if it's better, they switch. It's always like that in games. Like, it doesn't matter. But I, I think it's crazy. <laughs> I think it's crazy that he's throwing, like, shade like that on Backpack Battles. Like, hmm. <laughs> Backpack Battles come, came first, therefore they win. It's true. <laughs> so true. Like, like, normal people have not heard about the bazaar, only like Hearthstone nerds. Others, in the end, you can exchange them. And people who are really into Hearthstone know about this, all right? Now, to be fair, before we get into the lawsuit, I have to go to my gallery. Uh-oh, because I have pictures. <laughs> like, you have pictures? Yes, a trip to bazaar, right? Can I turn off this music in the background for a sec? Again. A trip. Normally, if I had prep time, this would be all, all laid out. A trip to, there we go, funding Bazaar. The web free game. Okay. Now, what I've noticed about this is this guy. Hold on, I gotta open up one more video. One more. True. Like, maybe it's not getting released because NFTs have such a bad reput a reputation now. And they try to change it again or something. They've been doing something with NFTs. <laughs> and nobody likes <laughs> one more video, it. Guys. Sorry, then we're, then we're going. Then we're going. A trip to Bazaar. Uh, part one. With a fucking three star. All right. <laughs> oh man, All right. I really wanted to the, the Bazaar to be successful. All right, like, I was who, excited who this to guy stream it. Before, right? Oh man, we need one, one more. Shout out to my man. What do you say? Um, is that where Logan Paul got the idea for CryptoZoo? Great analogy. And it, is it similar? Ooh. No. <laughs> hey, don't be rude. Don't be, don't be rude about him. Oh, what know. is NFTs? Uh, the bizarre I've heard like uh, I'm not I don't have it confirmed or anything because the game is not for another year <laughs> and it's been taking five years I don't know <laughs> hey man I don't even know Jack you know I don't be caring but I appreciate you having my back um he has beef with destiny I'm like this guy has beef with destiny you would think that him and destiny would probably be good friends but let's hear wait if I talk about this do I have also beef with Raynaud no right that's fine. <laughs> I have some hate watchers from like LSF and Destiny's community for some reason. And uh, like, I don't know, they furiously masturbate while watching every video and they wait for like anything I say in an eight hour broadcast to sound like, you know, like a clip that sounds like not perfectly rehearsed and well spoken and then they'll publish that shit to try to embarrass me. And people have voted. And it's like, you know, not that I should care about people's opinion of me or anything. Why would you? I just don't see a reason to empower muckraking or whatever, you know? But here's the thing, you speaking of it, it actually gives them power. You're like, yo, we saw you on Henry, you were talking about Destiny's community? Shit, <laughs> we, about to, we about to run that shit up, okay? We're about to run it up, all right? I just wanted to start with that before we get into this, where he kind of talks about that different things. That was one year ago, in his this video. Thing, it, it, it comes full circle. 
right? He's trying to create a game that mirrors Hearthstone, and he's about to talk about how much this game is worth, okay? He's about to talk about how much it's worth. I don't agree with the notion that people are like intrinsically good at stuff. Like, you're not just like made good at stuff. Like, it's a journey to get good. Nobody starts good, right? So it's like, I chose to go on that long, hard journey of improving at skills. Man, because, uh, I, I really to get good at like Raynard. I, it's so sad that it is giving so much trouble. You know, I really like games, so I really want to make a good one. So I spent a lot of time game. learning how to design early, and it wasn't like, I wasn't that good at it at first. You know? <laughs> Not the best now either, but like I'm much better. And how much do you think his game is worth? How many millions, guys? Put that shit in the comment section. How many millions do you think his game is worth? And Cheyenne, like <laughs> zero. <laughs> what is this guy's deal? He's creating. I think minus five million, maybe more. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. Like, how much is the game worth? That's never coming out. It's minus minus a billion. No, like why would it be worth anything? Or am I stupid? <laughs> Game development is very expensive. That's why I say minus five million. Like when when the bazaar comes out, I think they have to be very lucky for, for it to get popular at this point because it took so long. Well, they they spend a lot of on mar a lot of on marketing again, but I think a lot of streamers will try it. But if it has NFT, I don't know. The online battle game. First, you, I don't wanna, it has to come out too. Minus okay, minus five mil. All right, all right. Zero million. It could well. be artifact too. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when we get to XQC, that may come up again. Um, let's hear him talk about how his, his game is worth. I think at least for the genre, I can make quite a good one. So, but yeah, I didn't start that way, you know. Like, but I, I do want it to be successful. Is this the drama you said we might learn about? No, there's something else. Hey, our dragon. The rough valuation. The valuation of the equity right now is just shy of 300 mil. 300 mil? <laughs> Stop the cap. Now, now look, I don't want to judge a book by its cover. I do not. And guys, no, I'm already 50,000 in the hole, so I have really no. Wait, I'm, I'm switching to just shedding, actually. I don't know how long this takes. <laughs> just shedding. Impromptu just shedding stream. Nowhere to talk. But does this look like the setup of a CEO who has a company worth 300 million dollars? <laughs> I guess that's how much they spent into it maybe i guess like for five years you have to hire so many uh artists and the art of the bazaar is sick it's comparable to to hearthstone if you have not seen it wait maybe i can uh show you some pictures i don't know how familiar you are with the bazaar but that made me really really interested in the game also because I think aesthetics are very, very important, at least to me. Like, look at that. It looks so fucking good. <laughs> like, damn. It's such a shame. Look at that. Coming soon. Like, earlier, earlier this year, it said 2023. And I talked to Petra about it. And I was like, hmm, maybe we're going to play the bazaar together. Pog you. But yeah, it's then they then they change this again. But holy shit! Look, this looks like Elise, but with four arms. It, it's very similar to Hearthstone. It's very like colorful and stuff. So yeah, that must have cost a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Trailer. Like the production is great. The marketing was great five years ago. But you can't pay so much for marketing for five years, but the game is never coming out! Look, it's sick! It's sick! Like, as a card gamer, how are you not excited? <laughs> or like, as an auto battle player? Oi, oi, oi. He said on stream, they have invested 25 to 30 million already. It's crazy. Like, how, how confident you have to be that your game will be successful to make that big of an investment but i guess he has investors like i don't know how exactly that works and i guess this is why he's getting sued maybe by an investor <laughs> i maybe maybe we're looking at this too quickly but i don't know who he's getting sued by right now equity sure now here's the thing <laughs> why is he even <laughs> why is he even streaming huh hey hey <laughs> Someone said no chance. Maybe I'm not I trying should to do I'm sure he's speed easy. on 1.5. <laughs> 1.75. Smarter than me to create a company worth 300 oh, yeah, million slow. dollars. Stop the cap. <laughs> um, 
But this this is what he had to say. And people are like, how does this guy who has a beef with Destiny's uh, Reddit, a company worth 300 million, who was once the XQC before there was XQC, stop streaming? And when he was streaming, he would have 10 to 20K True, live. Right was back in the day. big, 10 big, 20K big. Live now, you're practically a millionaire. Okay? You're practically Pokemon. Hassan, Mizgif. Wait, you, you Raynat is suing somebody? Imagine Raynat suing Backpack better. Um, you Nick Merckx at that level. But he's about to tell you how hard, look, how hard it is. People are like, you know, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Look, look, look. People think I'm lying. People are like, we didn't hear him say 300 million. And I know my, uh, my current, you know, my executive juicer as Tampa, he know about, he know about business. And we gonna look at some business, right? Because I got the numbers. He said 300 million. I have his SEC filing, okay? <laughs> you like, 300 million? Yeah, I got his SEC filing. But shout out to my man as Tampa. Let, let's run it back, guys. I don't want to, uh, to talk over him. Salute to you, Stample, for the donation. Appreciate it. I'm not the best now either, but like I'm much better. And I think at least for this genre, I can make quite a good one. So but yeah, I didn't start that way. You know, like the rough valuation, the valuation of the equity right now is just shy of 300. I million. watched all those streams <laughs> already because we're Marina. <laughs> <fan. laughs> 300, even the depth, even the depth. She came in and she was like, a while ago, oh so I don't remember. <laughs> like, bro, 300 million where? where? Like, look, they like, we don't know who you is, Henry. We, 300 million. Okay, but let's get to why he, um, why he said he's not streaming no more or why he's, he's toned it down, guys. Why did he tone it down? And let's let's give him this just do. Let's let him cook for a little bit. Just said something stupid because you're a duck. I don't know. Like if any normal person had a camera on them for that much, they would have ten times the amount of like cancelable things being said. I guess scared is just the word. Maybe I shouldn't be. I okay, I've been streaming for six years. I don't think I said anything cancelable. I try not to be scared. Yeah. I'm glad I talked this out loud. Yeah, I won't delete the vlog. I'm just gonna say my opinion. And there's gonna be a lot of disinformation. There always, there always has been, you know. It's it was really upsetting to me, though. It's like one of the reasons I wanted to stop streaming. So many people on Reddit. So many people on Reddit. I mean, you have no idea. Uh, just like, why? And just, they just make things up about me. Damn. To just like, try to ruin my reputation. And they're not even motivated beyond being like, some unhappy LSF degenerates. I'm like, sure, yeah, you're so much society and your life sucks. And like, I get why that guy would do it. But like, imagine when, it's just like, imagine when uh, a company targets you that way. All right. And, now, now he's saying. I don't know. It's just a lot of. It is all Jermaine I'm too sensitive about my reputation. <laughs> if you don't know, he said, hey, a company is targeting me. Reddit is targeting. My reputation is suffering. Chey Cheyenne don't even believe I'm a multimillionaire. She don't believe in the game. She don't believe I am a CEO of a business with a $300 million valuation. She don't believe it. But let me talk about how I get invested. Let's talk about investing, okay? Because Cheyenne, he's going to educate you from this multimillionaire. Um, he's going to educate you on investing. I don't know. My response will be more mature these days, I guess. So. God's I unchanged. So actually, when we raised our Series A. Why is he trashing him like that? <laughs> I think Raynard is very smart. Okay, the, the bizarre. Okay, maybe not with a bizarre releasing. Gods and Chain did as well. We both raised it from the same investors. But and uh, I met with their CEO. I don't this know. was back in like 2018. I would trust Raynard. You know, yeah, I'm very familiar with the guy. I also talked to Chris Clay. He now was... he's name dropping. Now you're like, Henry, what is Gods Unchained? Gods Unchained? I'll show you after he gives you his true thoughts on Gods Unchained. Because people may not know. They may not know. Unless you pay Hearthstone, you don't know what Gods Unchained is. But this multi millionaire with a $300 million valuation is going to tell you all about it. This is the. He's like the game director on MTG Arena. They hired him to work on Gods and Chain. talked to him a few times. Um, yeah, they're definitely one of the first uh, games to try that kind I mean, of integration. I still don't know! Who is he suing? Oh, he, who is he getting sued by? But yeah, the game was just always a garbage Hearthstone clone, in my opinion. So. <laughs> Damn! Did y'all hear him? He said it's a garbage Hearthstone clone, in my opinion. Now, we have to do some fact-checking. We, we have to look into that, right? Um, it's called Gods Unchained, right? And you're like, Henry, I, I know. You were oh, that game is okay, so boring. Gods Unchained. What the hell is Gods Unchained? Henry, How what is I it? tried well, it was. It's... If you must know, it is a game. Okay, it's a it's it's Hearthstone, but you play with. I honestly Bitcoin, don't know how right? it's staying alive, but stuff I stuff like that. These are some I of the think, cards. Uh, I think you buy these cards and you own them or something. Also, like some NFT stuff. Technically, I don't know. You can have. You can you can trade these. Uh, where's the market? You can buy and sell your cards. You're like, what? This is all digital. Yeah. Yeah. The video is saying a lot. Like a lot of talking, but not knowledge to us because we are in in this already. But I think the guy is just trying to explain the whole card game uh, culture to us. <laughs> and of course, we don't mean it because we know we know all these things. But I guess he's explaining to a yeah, more yeah, general like audience. Look at these! Look at these cards. You can own these and use them in the game. And some cards are rarer than yeah, others. They're very very right. ugly. But this guy, sorry, this guy right here is telling you it's a garbage game that's not not complete that you know it's just a rip off of Hearthstone. I mean, it can it true. <laughs> right on his right. He sounds like you a hater. You know why? Because Guys Unchained is a finished game. Okay? It's like Pokémon but with Bitcoin. Yeah, that's, a great, that's a great way to look at it. Pokémon but with Bitcoin. Got a gobble. Um, the cards cost bitcoins or ethereum or whatever other um which we call it it's like it's, it's it's exactly what like all the gaming DeFi projects they're doing like gods and chains thing and the whole thesis is like fucking flawed it can't work like it can't work at scale you're never gonna get normies by making a worse game than its non-crypto counterpart you know what i mean and true he, huh? Facts. 
So, so what people do is like they make a, a, a clone of an existing game that's shittier, like objectively. <laughs> shit and then yeah. that shittier game, they, they add this crypto stuff, hoping that like that uh, hook will be enough to, <laughs> to make it a big success. But like, yeah, you just get like a few of these crypto guys, which yeah, they're worth a lot, but like you don't ever make cultural <laughs> impact. You never get normies. You never have more than a couple million downloads. It's like embarrassing numbers, you know? And uh, this is why like my- Oh, that's harsh, dude. Embarrassing download numbers, which I would love to get a couple of millions. My thesis is the, the, the Web3 <laughs> game that does it. That my way is the better way, guys. Trust me, bro. Trust couple me. My million crypto game downloads? Crypto game. Really takes off and goes parabolic. It has to be better than the non- dude, how many downloads do you think Hast one has? Like, overall? I wonder. I have no idea. On crypto counterpart. It has to be. That's a very hard goal, because like even normal game studios- I mean, Reina has zero downloads. <laughs> ...that aren't doing any web free oh, no. shit. Even they don't articulate the goal of, we're gonna make a better game than the one we're talking. <laughs> they don't even try. <laughs> we're gonna, instead, everyone says, we're gonna make this, but this way. That's always the fucking plan. And his plan is different, guys. His plan is way different. <laughs> his plan is different. We're gonna make League, but with this twist. We're gonna make this, but with this twist. And it, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, that narrative uh, gets funded more often than not, so. Okay, so he, he's like, hey man, funding is, funding is kicking his ass. And people like, well, Henry, you said he worth 300 million. All right, so is he worth 300 million? Uh, the <gasps> short and simple answer is- We're no, actually no. getting to it! Not in my, based on my evaluation <laughs> of his SEC filing. 300, oh man, 300 million where? 300 million where? Okay, so guys, if you guys Bank don't know- account! I, Statement! I am in corporate America, I am a VP, I do have my MBA. This is their SEC filing, okay? And this is their balance sheet as of uh, December 31st, 2021. For his company, we haven't even got to the lawsuit yet. But what I want you to see is, you know, just get a snapshot of what's going on, all right? Now I look at this, you know, this is assets, you know? Assets is stuff you can sell today and you can get a certain amount of money from it. Your checking account, that's cash, that's an asset. You got a building, that's an asset. Things that kind of generate money or are money, typically are assets. All right, so let's look at some of the assets that he has. Um, Residency These are new funds, which I suspect are investors. So these are income and bills, okay? No payroll advances, no prepaid expenses, no prepaid rents. All right, so he's looking on his balance sheet. If you take in all the accounts, he has about $891,000 spread over. Why is it saying here on the sheet, making no money? What did he write that? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen stuff like that before. It's several accounts. The thing that kills me that makes me look for pause is I see <laughs> zero right here, 59 cents, 2,500. looks like most of his money is in one account. And, you know, let me use, let me see if I can use the uh, magnifier. Right I cannot use the magnifier right here. That does not make me happy. Okay. Assets. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, let me make it smaller. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a picture. <laughs> so these looks like investors right here. I, I put that there. Oh my investors. God. That's his name. I was like, huh? That's a weird name for like a company. So now we're looking at you know total <laughs> other current assets. We're looking at close to um four million. If you take this number and you max it, you add it with the bank account right here, you get the forty eight. You know this is like MBA business account one hundred one. We really don't need to dive too heavily in it, right? But we're going to keep going. So it looks like total assets looks like more intangible assets totaling seven point two eight million dollars. Okay, all right, there we go. So total assets seven point two eight. You're like, all right, okay, Henry, what's going on? Now we get to the good stuff. Liabilities. Good stuff? Debt. All right. This is things that don't generate money. Okay, so we see up here, we go up. You're like, Henry, we did not come to goddamn math class. <laughs> oh, this was from uh, January 2022. Okay, I had to check real quick what year it is. <laughs> it's 2023, October. In the math class. I'm like, look, 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 look. Now we start scrolling down. You start looking down. We look, okay, we, it's, we see some money going out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Total, total credit card, total credit cards. Due to, so we got a damn near a $4 million charge. You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> a $4 million charge, yeah, profit sharing. Profit sharing is money you're paying out to people who was invested in the company. So someone is collecting $50,000 and someone is collecting $75,000. This is money going out, all right? And you look at this and you say, hold up. Total that looks current fucking scary to me. Okay, 4 million in liabilities, scroll up, 7 million in assets. So we still up 3 million, right? Like, hey, hey, Henry, chill, chill, fuck out, we up. We up, Henry. And then you scroll down and you're like, whoa, 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 Henry, 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 what? You just said we were up. I'm like, yeah, I know, but we have long-term liabilities, like notes, shit you owe people, people who invested, people who may want their money back or return or, you know, stuff like that. And now you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Nine million in liabilities? Seven million in assets? You know, I'm not, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a CPA, but something says we're in the red. <laughs> we in the red, Mr. $300 million valuation. All right. And then you equity as people who own stock in the company. All right. So <laughs> 300 dreams, maybe. Okay. Um, Came so for the backpack, stayed for the drama. I think it's very interesting to me, but is this old news? Did this already come out? Maybe I wasn't in the know. There is your total negative two, two million. Oh, whatever. 
But we, we don't care about this stuff, right? We're still we still watching. Million, I'm watching on double it is speed. What it is. <laughs> oh, now look, here's some income for you guys. So you, if you want to know how much he makes from uh, esports, he's making almost close to a half a million dollars in esports. Okay. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, which is a game, some sponsorship, because he signs people to his gaming company. Uh, G Fuel, down there, ninety-one thousand. This is money in. You like, okay, we got some money coming in. We got about one point three coming in. We got one point three coming in. Here we go. We doing all right. Well, shit. I, I kind of want to move on. Next in, point, please. And then money going out. This is called cash flow. <laughs> this is cash flow. Uh, this is next well, point, this is, please. This is, like, this is one. All right, let's keep going down though. Let's keep going down. Uh, facilities. God damn, this is just for the buildings that they have for all their equipment for. Certain yeah, it's like of course you go miners. Like he hasn't released the product yet, you know. <laughs> Like I, I think that's normal, but I'm not a, I'm not a b business lady. I've never made a company. But how else would you make money? Then people play it. <laughs> so I think that's normal. Servers, um, two hundred twenty twenty-seven thousand. Okay, gifts. Um, gifts. I don't think this out. is anything this is shocking. Uh, game design contractors, total independent contractors, outside services like two point five million. Like shit. Where's three hundred million? Where is anyone seeing three hundred million? Now, when I'm going through this, I look for anomalies. I see salaries and wages. Of course it's not I see million, $1 million yet. dollars in salary and wages. Now I keep going. I'm like, well, let's, you know, let's go. Let, what's going on? We already know we down to about 2 million. We already know that. Here we already did the quick math. Where's all this goddamn money going? All right, you're looking at these, these bank accounts. These old, okay, maybe like, okay, well look, current assets, 12, 30 million. Total fixed assets, 25. Oh, we got $41 million in assets. Okay, but these are just shares, guys, for the most part. Um, let's keep going down. Keep going down. We don't care about this. We still haven't hit 300 million. I don't no care about way. all of this no, money. Close. Equity. You see, equity, this is stock shit. 37 million. I want to go to the <laughs> right, get this to is the stuff. Um, real points. I don't know if you guys know about stock. I say, about hey, you want to buy stock in Henry? You say, yes, I would love to buy stock in Henry. I say, okay, um, the company is worth $100 and there's 100 shares of Henry. Okay? Bruh. You give me a dollar, I'll give you a share. I can only sell 49 yeah. shares. This is stock. All right? So just because you see, um, but I'm scared equity, if I see skip, liabilities attached then to it, I missed something. So I care about To the tune of 41 million. Now, here's the thing this means at some point he touched this money. <laughs> he touched this money, so forty-one million, then then went and likely passed through his hands. Okay, Bring just the from people tea. buying into it. Now this is where I have to flip it. Bring the really lawsuit. Like, hey, yeah, that shit. All right. Now only one thing I'm gonna point out right here, because this is about to come up in a lawsuit. Um, shit, y'all can't see it, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you all out. Officer, salary <laughs> officer. His salary, I presume, is to be around a half a million dollars per year. There's also someone else's salary. Well, this could be a marketing team, three hundred thousand dollars a year. Now this is a small company. All right, let's get into the lawsuit. All right, so here is the cover sheet. Half a million a year. To Raynard? That's quite good. Give me half a million. That's right. uh, his company is being sued by Warp Speed Trading. Warp Speed Trading is a crypto also didn't make a company. And they invested in this company. And here's the cover sheet. And they're like, hey. I do, but I'm my only employee. <laughs> we're suing his company and BTSE Holdings, which we'll get to, for more than $25,000. Uh, we're suing him for business uh, unfair. <gasps> Wait, business. we're actually getting to the T! Okay. Now I can slow down a little bit. Practice. This is not a complex case, and we want monetary action money. And this is not a Wait, class action. Wait, I want to go back because I didn't. If you will, you like. Here's the company, and here's the cover sheet, and they're like, "Hey, we're suing his company and BTSE Holdings, which we'll get to, for more than twenty-five thousand dollars." What? Only twenty-five thousand? That's for like five million. That's. It's fucking a piece of change. More than oh. Uh, we're suing him for business uh, unfair business practice. This is not a complex case, and we want monetary action money. And this is not a class action lawsuit. Forget what I said. Okay. And here's the complaint. This complaint was filed on Mr. Three Hundred Million Dollars on ten twelve twenty three. Now this is a quick complaint. Warp Speed. It's a British Virgin Island company. Is suing his California company. All right, you're like, well, Henry, I thought you had $300 million. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on, Henry? Let me break it down for you. Okay, this complaint you. seeks remedies for defendant AVY, which is his Mr. $300 million man's company, uh, repeated negligent misrepresentations made to assure warp speed that AVY possess the technical capabilities and resources to timely release a beta version of the bazaar. <laughs> True, I did want to message Reynard. I never talked to him before, and he doesn't follow me on Twitter. But I did want to DM him and ask him, "Can I, can I play Alpha? Can I play Beta, please?" <laughs> but I didn't yet. A still unreleased video game by May 2022. All right, so if you're in business, this could be a promise or a deliverable, um, something, something along those lines. Avy, Avy, 
made misrepresentations to induce solicited potential investors, including Warp Speed, into investing capital to facilitate the development of the bazaar. Now, here's the thing, guys. You understand what's going on right now, right? No. <laughs> Warp Speed Tell invested me. money, gave him money to build a game. Okay, and the we game knew that. Is not developed. I get it if you pitch your game like that and say it's coming out in 20... I don't know when it was first, like the first release date was probably like 2021 or something. And then it was 2022 and now it's 2023 and now it's 2024. Then, yeah, I guess. The release date is now 2024, but earlier this year on the website, it was uh, second half of 2023. And when you invest your money and you think you get your money back at a more timely matter, then I guess it's, I guess you can sue <laughs> or be mad. I would be mad. How much money did they give them? Hey, we invested uh, $5 million and we seek to request it to, you know, get it out of the company and interest. So you like, hey, $300 million guy, you just got this money laying around. You got a $300 million valuation, all right? And that video that we watched is not that old. I want to say it is a year old. So we have mm -hmm. a year ago, we had a $300 million evaluation, according to that guy, okay? Let's keep going. Now, uh I still think it can be worth, worth that much once he releases it. I guess it doesn't matter, because to so to the investors right now no, no. sorry before we go through warp speed informed and believes that avy transferred plaintiff's investment into accounts owned by defendant btse holdings a cryptocurrency exchange now what do you know about cryptocurrency exchange i looked at my crypto today because you know i got a, that fifty dollar thousand dollars like where my crypto at <laughs> i looked at my crypto and it was like it looked at it looked like this did i remember i wanted to invest in crypto and one of my friends told me to do it. <laughs> one of my streamer friends. And, uh, but I never really knew enough, so I was comfortable. <laughs> so I'm glad I did it! Ay ay ay! <laughs> it looked like that. They're like, hey, you, you bought when it was too high. I'm like, shit, I'm, I, I didn't get it when it was 60, but Jesus. All right, it's down about half, okay? So they are struggling somewhat. Cryptocurrency is down bad. So if you have a game that's built on cryptocurrency and you're putting your money in a bank that basically trades in cryptocurrency, you likely lost the goddamn money, okay? Um, I said they tried to flip the money, but hey, when you believe in a product too much... What does it mean, try to flip the money? Flip the money? Oh, I'm not a money, Andy. I just have it. <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded like you got shit. I just have it. But yeah, I don't do anything. <laughs> but <I'm lost. laughs> he has money and he wants more money. Okay. Invested in something. Okay. My girlfriend had a bit of Bitcoin but sold it before it got mega huge. Just big enough for a decent return. Yeah, dude. I think when was the time where Bitcoin was 21,000? Per Bitcoin. That was like in December somewhere, but I don't know what year of December. 2021, maybe? Nah, it was uh, later than 2017. It's 35k now? Huh? Well, maybe it was like, it was very, very high. And then it fell very, very hard. <laughs> Within like a month or so. It is, it could be dangerous. It could be and bad then I stopped following it. Right. Accordingly, plaintiff seeks to the immediate imposition a constructive trust in the amount sufficient to return warp speed the money. Wait, what? The bizarre company Avi tried to move it into another holding company. The lawsuit claims that to spend it on other stuff. If it stays in the company, it needs to be used for development based on terms of investment. That makes sense, right? So it's shady shit going on here? Oh my! Try to move it to another holding company. What, what's a holding company? Like, <laughs> fuck! So, uh, they tried to hide the money? 
or something. <laughs> I don't know. I should, you know, I should watch more uh, law series like Suits. <laughs> Maybe then I would understand all of this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That worst we would have had it not rely. If you watch two Suits, type smiley face. <laughs> The money was meant for game development, but he used it to gamble on crypto. To try and make more? Ah! No way! No way he did that! Right of a smart, right? But Hearthstone players are kind of gambling addicts. Ah. Uh... Oh, oh, I can see. Oh, yeah, Hearthstone. Oh, card game players are gambling addicts. I ay, ay, ay. Idoin, ADY's negligent misrepresentations concerning surrounding its ability to develop a timely release of the bazaar. Worksby also incurred a significant, you know, cost of attorney fees while endeavoring to recover uh, its investment from ADY. Now, you're probably wondering, what the hell could he do to get them to give them $500 million? Now, look, we don't need to go through the parties. We talked about I that. I think for Raynat, it is very, very easy from an investor to get money he's very very good at talking i think he has a good business brain too he has a great idea for a game and his presentation is very nice i would give him all my money all the time but maybe not for six years <laughs> i want i would give him everything i own i think <laughs> the jurisdiction it's fine. Everyone lives in Let California. Or does business in California. Let's go to the factual allegations. All I right. Still trust now, Raynard. please pay attention to this, please. I think, I think when Bazaar comes out, I think it will be great. Honestly, it's actually a good. I I would feel like my money would triple, uh, uh, quadruple. <laughs> Story. And me being the investigator, I was following a timeline that was being presented, and I saw the writings on the wall. That shit was just not adding up. Okay. All right. Um, on April 6, 2018. Oh, this right? looks so sc fucking scary. I hope I never get sued. Holy shit, I'm scared. It's not even me. Right. $300 million. Um, what's his name? <laughs> Raynard. Is it Raynard? Raynard? Raynard. Raynard, a professional gamer with more than a decade. The disrespect. What's his name to the Hearthstone legend Raynard? Bro! Worth of competitive gaming experience announced his intent to create the Bazaar. The Bazaar was to be a global digital collective card game, all right, that integrated features of a dynamic strategy game with non fungible tokens. Mm. A type of yeah. cryptocurrency. <laughs> now, this is probably before <laughs> CryptoZoo, I believe, or maybe around the time. I'm not sure. On May 9th, 2018. But honestly, at the time, like maybe it would have been i can see why people would buy into nfts because at the time it was very very hype but he kind of knew the hype was short-lived at least like most people uh, so Ray Nan, i guess it's very smart to do that articles of incorporation through california secretary Long of state time, but i can see how ADY. people fall basically for it. this is when they created the company on information and belief that ray Nan intended for avy to serve as a parent company for his game development activities including development of the bazaar this all seems seems fine, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, I told you he touched that money that was that was shown in his financial stuff, um, that was shown in <laughs> his liabilities, right? Oh. In 2021, Avy initiated Series B funding campaign in effort to raise about thirty million dollars. So he says, "Hey, who wants to invest?" People say, "Hey, this is, sounds like a great game. Here's thirty million dollars." Yeah, if I right? had it, I would do it to too. To finalize the game. They're paying him to put out a product. You just got to believe. Yeah, yeah. You, you keep believing. Um, you is can't believe food. your bills are going to get paid and they get paid. All right. So to facilitate this campaign, AVY created a presentation. So here's like the, the thing, right? The presentation that, among other things, assure potential investors of AVY's capability to launch a fully operational game to the general public by January 2023. Remember that name. 2023. January 2023. For example, the presentation assured that by May 22, these are your steps in line, your deliverables, um, that AVY will release the beta version of Bazaar for friends and family. Is it normal for companies to get sued like that when they make a game? 
it's probably not the first time, right? <laughs> it's not normal, right? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Did Blizzard get sued? But I guess Blizzard is worth so much. They don't need extra money. It's happened before? Like what game? Happens more than you think. Yeah. So I, I was thinking. Families, oftentimes when people develop games, friends and family are the first to test them out. Okay. <laughs> first to test them out. Um, while access to a larger group of gamers will be provided through closed beta in July 22. And I believe my man as Tampa has a spot on <laughs> super chat. I just tried to click away the ad. I thought it's an ad. <laughs> He says, that's what we call a fraud. If you touch the assets for personal use or using it outside, it's true meaning. Could be deemed as embezzlement. Well, they didn't bring that up quite yet. But as Tampa is right, if I give you money to embezzlement. make Embezzlement. I kind of want to look that up. Let me Google it. Embezzlement. I mean, I probably know what it means through context. It's theft or mis- Appropriation of funds placed in one's trust or belongings to one's employer. Employer. Yeah, okay. That's what we already talked about. Good game. And you say, hey, I'm not making a game. I'm going to go to Vegas and we're going to party with XQC and we're going to gamble with Dana White. And hey, when you ask for the game, I'm going to say we don't got it. Okay, so it's normal for investors to, sue, to recover investments. It's not common. Being sued like this is less common because of what the lawsuit claims. Yeah, that's true. True. But family and friends, you're just giving a game to family and friends. Just a play, not personal use. All right. So that was the promise made. You know? I was in family and friends testing for a snap. My have a snap. What's really fun. Hey, we're going to give it to family friends in May and then beta July 2022. Okay, early access featuring a release playable on both PCs and mobile devices. So, hey, we're wanna, we want to create a game that everyone could play. And I think the blue is a little harsh on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I'll correct it moving forward. Um, the presentations. Okay, hold on. Where are we at? Um, October 22. So, you have a timeline. Like, when you sign a contract with a company, you say, hey, we got this, uh, this date, this date, this date, this date. These are deliverables. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're supposed to... Um, Family and friends in May, beta in July, mobile and PC, October, game launch, January, 2023. Hopefully you guys can find this, right? Oh, damn. You're following it. The representation is that beta would be made by May, 2022. Also a presentation that a game was in advanced stage of development. Advanced stage means damn near finished, guys. A nearly ready for publication. AVY also presented its presentation. I that think it what I heard, like from Raynat's videos, I don't remember. Like I watched them all. Well, like the bazaar has like a YouTube channel and they, they presented their stages of development and had like interviews of the dev developers and stuff. And I think I remember that he said that he scratched almost the whole game and started from new. So I guess that's what, that's why it's taking so long. And I don't know how many times he did that because they kind of stopped with the video. Yo, Pocky! Thanks for the raid! Did you know that Reynard is getting sued for Bazaar? <laughs> and he recently made a tweet about how Backpack Pockets... Backpack Pockets! Jesus! Backpack Battlers is uh, stealing his game idea! Basically, yeah. Oh, we're looking at the drama right now. We, we just got to uh, the, the suing part and what he's getting sued for. So basically, he's getting sued for taking too long to release his game and promising false beta starting dates and now the investors are mad and want to get their money back, I think. It finished its first play playable for the Bazaar earlier in 2021 and placed graphics of characters in, in an in-game marketplace on other slides. So guys, this is an elevator pitch. You say, hey, look, man, we got this game. We're going to have, we got this nice presentation. I'm going to have the family and friends out by May. We're going to close beta in July. Um, we're going to have it on PCs and mobile by October. All right. Bazaar's going to be the Hearthstone killer for sure. It could have been if it released on time. But now, how can you be a killer of something that is already dead? <laughs> so it's too late. He's 
to be the kid of something else now. And we're launching in January 2023. And it's going to be great, guys. It's like we got we, we listen to the evaluation of just an idea. OK, just an idea. All right. AVY also emphasized that it possessed technical skills and expertise to publish the uh, beta version by May. They're like, look, man, we got the skill. We got the we got the developers on deck. All right. OK, we got a five person leadership team. You know, three hundred million dollar Raynad is running the building. He got his main man, Aaron Crail, as the COO. You know, all these different names. We got a designer. We got a director. We got a game designer. We got a senior game designer. We got all these big names that people may know if you play um, Hearthstone or just into the designing games. So we have the the employees to deliver the game. You're like, mm -hmm. okay, okay. I think I'm going to invest in, in the Henry Card trust game. That. Like, you know, Henry, you got shit going. Yeah. Right? Now I'm it's starting still, to get the juice. In a text message sent on October 9, 2021, Bye. Raynad provided Alfred Carter, a Warp Speed representative, with three items. So you can say this is this is the hook, line, and sinker. A video illustrating 80s brand and history, which they just started, so you really can't have too much history. Honestly, maybe Raynad just wants to deliver a sick fucking ass game. And isn't it also a little bit, like, good? Like, he doesn't want to release dog shit. Cause he, you know what? Maybe he's too perfectionist. Cause he talked shit about Hearthstone his whole fucking career, and then he is too ashamed to really something subpar. <laughs> and he wants to make it perfect, make people love it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then it just drags out and drags out, and he's standing in his own way. Maybe I think that that's the root of the issue. The investor presentation created for created in support of AV Series B funding. And an advanced walkthrough of the game. Basically, some goddamn, <laughs> some goddamn videos on YouTube. You're like, hey, look, check these videos out. Here's some gameplay. <laughs> um, you know, here's a walkthrough of how to play the game. And here's me winning the Hearthstone, okay? All this good stuff. You're like, okay, this may come out later. It's not in here, but uh, we'll see how far this lawsuit goes. Now, let's keep going. Let's keep going. On October 23rd, 2021, you know, Raynat Tex Carter, which is a, the, the company, um, whatchamacallit, and offered a meeting including them and the COO if Warp Speed was interested in hearing more about the timeline and logistics. Guys, when, you, when you're trying to get money, you want to keep, you, you're on these people. Like, hey man, come, come out, check out the live stream, man. We have a good time. Hey, come to the party. Hey, watch my video. You are, you are just on them like, you, you're love bombing like a girlfriend. You're romancing <laughs> them in hopes that That's they true. give you money to support your idea. I never you had an investor. <laughs> Who wants to be my investor? One million for I don't know. <laughs> have three hundred million dollars to put out a game, all right? So he texts Cardi, <laughs> "Hey man, come on through, Me. man. Let's talk about timeline and logistics." So October twenty fifth, twenty twenty one, and November eighteenth, Raynad and Krell met with Carter to discuss uh, recent progress and status of development of the game, right? As well as AVY's development team skills expertise, further selling them, further selling them on it. During both meetings, AVY's representatives made critical assurances that the bazaar will be released in beta form no longer than six months after Warp Speed made an investment. So they're like, look, man, you give us the money. We had to shit out in six months. As evidence for the assurance of its six months uh, beta release, Yannick and Krell cited the capability and skill set of leadership. So now, like, look, man, I've been doing this shit for a while, okay? A while. Now, amongst other things, here we go. Here we go. At the time, uh, Raynad and the CEO presented AVY had a pre-investment valuation of nearly two hundred million dollars. <laughs> two hundred million. Look, hey, we just got an idea. <laughs> and my man does say shout out to everybody on Twitch. Salute to y'all watching on Twitch, man. All fifty. So before he made anything, he was like two hundred million. <laughs> but he did have all the designers and stuff. Honestly, why not? 7,000 of y'all watching on Twitch. Like, Honestly, we want to hear about this right now. Shit. It, it doesn't sound um, so weird. You know what y'all should do, though? Y'all should clip this shit and put it on Reddit. Piss them off. Piss them off to them. Um, covering his lawsuit. Because <laughs> people be hating, like, why are you covering my lawsuit? Because someone said it was interesting. That your ass missed their $300 million valuation. Um, people are suing you for $5 millions, All right? So they see the $200 million valuation. Mm -hmm. This is actually pivotal. This is the final straw. If someone says, hey, I got an idea that's worth $200 million, you want to buy into it, you're probably going to say yes. They're going to say, look, you can get some equity. You, and when they go up, you know, you, you may double up your investment in, in two years. That was going live. You never know. All right. So the valuation was based in parts on assurances of a beta release in May 2022. All right. The representation that it had experienced members, substantial, substantial capital. Look, how does it have substantial capital if it's asking for capital? 
All right, that that should be sign number one. Yeah, we got so much money, man. We just need your money. <laughs> you be like, yo, this shit not making sense. This math ain't math. <laughs> if you got so much me. money, why you need money? You might think about that. But all they saw <laughs> probably was a return. All right. Sufficient progress on the game's development over the preceding three years of work to launch by this date. What company did the evaluation? I have no idea. He could have he could have did some Zillow Zillow type math. Impressed with AVY's representation. What is Zilla type math? Isn't Zilla the the website where you look at houses? I think Stissa linked it to me once. Look at a house. Take math. So he's saying that the houses on there are value too high. Patience and uh, resilience on reliance on them. Warp Speed decided to invest. So they saw the $200 million valuation uh, based on some adept math. And then it was like, hey, we want to give you $5 million. Now, here's the thing. You don't just say we're going to give you $5 million. You signed on a dotted line. Hey, we plan to give you $5 million to further develop the game of its advanced May 22 beta release. In confirmation email, Carter wrote that the $5 million investment was based on AVY's $200 million valuation. You see? You see how it works? Not on the team. Not on uh, Raynat, just because they saw a piece of paper that said, yeah, this idea is worth $200 million. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my I goodness. I don't feel like that's how it so went. on November 30th, 2021, uh, Mr. $300 million man and his CEO entered in a financing agreement, Series B t uh, term sheet. All right. You're like, what's this? Basically asking for more money, selling more equity in a company, more stock. Okay. More stock. And according to the Series uh, B term sheet, plaintiff agreed to $5 million. You see how it's like, no, no, no. This is a real thing. And the support. This document further designated California courts as the appropriate place for its resolution. Now, let's start talking money. Remember, May 22 is when we're going to get our beta. On December 7th, they hit them up for a million. Hey, we need a million dollars. All right, cool. Here's a million dollars. On Febu in February 2022, here's the rest of the, the four million. You like, look, <laughs> we didn't get you five million in over three months. That game better be dropping. You like that game better. Okay, I have a question though. We earlier learned that Reynard's pay per year is 500,000. If I was getting sued like that, I would live so frugal. <laughs> I would try to save money everywhere. But um, yeah, of course, you're paying your employees too. The employees get 200,000 though. That's what we learned. Oh, yeah, yeah, be dropping. <laughs> I would be pissing. I would be pissing my pants every day that I wake up and I couldn't live anymore because I would have too much anxiety with all these numbers. Look at those numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I guess that's why I'm not a CEO. Or, you know, somebody who makes a company like that. Oh my god. Yeah, Fiverr K is a lot, but I guess compared to other Andes, like Bobby Kotick, <laughs> it's way nothing. I don't know. I don't remember how much Kotick got in the end. But I guess, yeah, B Blizzard is not a new company. Bizarre. Temple Storm is. Reyna's company is a little bit newer. That game better be dropping. All right. So on February 7th, Warp Speed is informed and believes that, hey, representatives created a presentation that they intended to use to facilitate discussion with investors about corporation structure and finances. Hey, we need to talk about our corporate structure and finances. Okay. I would and pay myself a zero less than my employees. Yeah, and this same. <laughs> I would pay myself nothing <laughs> if this was happening. It is, you know. Live on pasta with ketchup the rest of my life until it makes profit. Here, here, here is the first red flag. <laughs> Contrary to the assurance that uh, Ray Ned and his CEO made about the company's financial stability, AVI, AVY informed plaintiff it had incurred millions of dollars in operating losses over the recent years. <laughs> Could you imagine giving someone $5 million and the next time they meet with you? Uh, after you after you ship them four million, that they have a meeting and say, "Hey, we got some, we have some losses." They like, Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, but they like, look, 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 look. 
let's have a meeting. We have an investor meeting. And hey, despite the increase in talent acquisition cost, AVY was committed to a 2022 launch. Do you think Bazaar will sponsor streamers? <laughs> I'm applying for a sponsorship. Give me money. And then maybe he gets more investor money to sponsor me. Let's <laughs> go. of the bazaar now it just went from may 2022 to just a 2022 thing and as you're an investigator you pick up on these time changes you're like wait 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 <laughs> wait 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 now you're like now imagine this right in the same month it was supposed to get released they warp speed informs you who just gave them five million dollars that avy's board of directors approved a significant compensation increase for just the coo mr 300 million dollar man and his second in command. If I if I am warp speed and I see this, I'm like, hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. You just said we're bleeding money and operating costs. Now you're about to give yourselves a fucking raise. I might be livid, but they already got the money, and you agreed to to, to let them run this shit, right? Shout out to Eskimo. We was talking about this earlier in Henry Court. Uh, warp speed is informed and believes that uh, Ray Nad and Krill personally approve their own respective pay increases. Together with the approval of AV Wise, three other directors. <laughs> this is a wild Chris. allegation, but hey, so there has to be a board. What there has the to fuck? be a board. Now, on top of them getting a raise, right? Okay. Warp Speed is informed that three other members who AVY had previously touted as leaders of the bizarre development effort departed the company. Hey, we got a raise and we, lo we lost some, some key members. We lost our, our game. opposite of race you need a d race game design director <laughs> we lost our senior game designer and we lost our another senior game designer all in the same year it went from july we lost one then september <laughs> then november okay. these are top people these are people that the game needs to continue development all right be like wait wait <laughs> now if you just lose someone from marketing department who cares but when you start losing your game designer now you have to hire another one. Now the shit is going to be further delayed. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> what? You, you looking at that five million, you like, you shaking, you annoyed, you anxious. Say hi to Ant who is reacting to the stream. <laughs> what the fuck? You're like, where is the five million? <laughs> so this is another red flag. Now, October 2022. Uh, Ray Nad and Kroll announced that the bazaar would no longer be released in any form that year. Remember, it go from May 2022 to just 2022. Now they said, hey, we're not releasing in 2022. We're committed to releasing the game in multiple phases in 2023, which is this year. OK, as an investor, I am nervous. I am out of here. <laughs> Salute to you, Dust. Thank you, man. Dude, um, not only here. as an um, investor, I would be nervous. Imagine your Ray Nad. Like, if you're deaf, you got your money, right? You get your money, you can leave. But Raynard, he can't leave. I think. I guess maybe he could leave. And then, wait, you can't say I'm bankrupt, right? I know there's personal bankrupts, bankruptcy or something. And then you can say your company's bankrupt too. And then, all the investors never get their money. But if you're bankrupt, do you go to jail? <laughs> Oh no! What happens? I think when you're personally bankruptcy, then I think you just have to show your bank statements or something. And then after a few years, you're normal again. And then you don't owe anything. Right? Is it the same for companies? You just dissolve the company? And maybe you're not allowed to make another company. <laughs> I have no, no idea. <laughs> like, how does that work? I don't know. Yeah, you have to pay them partly off. Like, as much money as you have. But then, if you don't have more money to give, then I think you get forgiven somehow, legally. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I'm never in the position. But I, I would not bring myself in the, into the position. I'm not... A, I'm not risky enough. You say sorry and you respawn. <laughs> they hide the money. Oh, what? 
Monka, so it's legal. I'm, I'm, I'm done, though. You're like, what the fuck? This story is crazy, right? And it's crazy. You can't say fraud. You can't say, as much as people want to say fraud, you can't say it. <gasps> Warp speeds and. Do you know I have a content idea? You could make a whole movie out of this. Ha-ha! Who plays Reyna? Type smiley face. I'll be, uh... Probably nobody. <laughs> but I think it would be a very, very cool movie idea. This, uh, this is so much drama. And it's been going on for so long. Like, first of all, you start with... Ah, uh, oh my god. Yeah, earlier I was looking on Twitter. And we saw that the bazaar was starting in, like, 2018. It started with drama. You know, I saw Rickful tweeting about it. And he was like, oh, I invested money. And then I, they had, like, a beef. But I don't remember what happened. It was sad. It was sad to see the Rickful tweets. Informed and believes that um, in January 2023... Ray Nad and Krill announced that they had to lay off at least 25% pieces, of the staff. <laughs> this is have horrible. Said pieces. I don't know. Whenever I say rip, I think rest in pieces, but I mean it for real. I loved watching Wreckful. He was so such a such a good streamer. And I also followed all the uh, Dr. K stuff. Who else? Oh man. I really was hoping he was getting better. Oh man, I watched I watched them all, all the Dr. K stuff. If you don't know Dr. K, he was or is like a like the therapist for Twitch streamers, and he he did get people on stream and they talked a lot about the issues. And Rekful was, I think, his highest profile case. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, that's how I think he got very, very popular, Dr. K. And he just talked about, like, Rekful's issue with him over months and months. And then, yeah. And then Rekful died. This is horrible. Like, tell, how, how are you stealing my money without stealing my money? You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly the game was nearly done we're at the advanced stages you know we're about to drop beta months from now this went from six months we gonna be uh krell is his partner i guess he's like the second in line to the company from what i understood right now out of here and if you think about it that's 50 percent of 50 percent so now you have lost roughly 75 percent of your goddamn staff this is a dead math <laughs> all right okay so hey we lost our top people then we had to lay people off after giving us a race all right, February 2023. Look at the balls of this guy. Hey, we need another 11 million. <laughs> we need another. Wow. Well, I guess, I mean, if you're, you, do you need money? Imagine you are developing for, tr since 2018 your game, and then you run out of money, and you think you're close to the finishing line. Of course you need more money, but holy shit. Oh my God. Just the 11 more, please. Just the 11 million. I'm almost done. 11 almost million. You done. like, yo. Hey, yo, what the trust fuck? Me, trust me. What do you mean you need another 11 million? You just lay people off. You're like, shit. Oh, my. look. Let's keep going. An investment presentation. They put another another couple YouTube videos. The Bizarre were released in Family and Friends by the second quarter of 2023. Now, for you guys who don't know what the second quarter is, that's April. April 2023. <laughs> Oh, okay. We're going to release the Family and Friends version with a full game to launch in the first quarter of 2024. But they low key. Did my breathing get the more nervous? They say, actually, hey, I'm not the two, I think that they came in in 2019 or 2018. Hey, May 2022, game will be out. You're like, sweet, let's go. And then now they pushed it back to 2024, but you probably ain't peep it. You probably ain't peep it. Now, meanwhile, what happened? NFTs crash. Them, you know, bore ape shit. Did you peep it? What does that mean? I'm learning so many new words today. Damn. It's some JPEGs. It? Oh, okay. People were paying like a million dollars, 750, hundreds of thousands of dollars for these digital created monkeys, you know, all this shit. Uh, crypto zooting came and went. It's crashing and they're asking for more money. All right. They announced on his social media accounts that the game will be released in 2024 on August 16th. Right. Unlike previous announcements, the August 16th announcement did not include a schedule on when the, the bizarre launch phases and releases such as friends and family or closed beta would occur. 
As of the drafting of this complaint, AVY has not released Bizarre to the public in any form, beta or otherwise. We I mean, know. Because NFTs are dead. We've been right? waiting. Now, we really don't uh, need to read any of this other than the parts that are highlighted. This is the first cause, which is negligent misrepresentation. They feel like they were misrepresented. All right. And they were. While Yannick and Krell touted the strength of their leadership team and their investment presentations and private conversations, they knew, in fact, that AVY lacked sufficient resources to produce beta version of its game by May 2022. This is an, this is an accusation, but you mean to tell me the $300 million guy didn't know? Come on, man. You ain't know? You ain't know? I mean, some people say this is a con. <laughs> this is a con. Like, yo, you con us. Man, Do you think it's a con? I don't think so. Raynet has a legacy. He is so famous. He was so popular in Hearthstone. Do you think he would put everything on the line, quit his very, very, very profitable stream to make money quickly like that and work on something and clearly be personally very, very invested to just throw it all away and be infamous as a scammer? Who does that? No, I think he just got over. I think he got too proud to release a game that he is not 100% happy with. And then he put himself in a shit position and shitty opposition, shitty opposition. But then at the same time, why does he pay himself so much? <laughs> it's not a scam, like it's coming soon. In 10 years, five, maybe three. I think, yeah, I think he's, he just got in too deep, but maybe he can get out. My God, Raynard. <laughs> Raynard, I will buy your game. I will buy skins. I will buy everything. If I get into the beta, please. I wanna... In fact, contrary to the representations, <laughs> AVY had insufficient financial resources and was indeed so cash strapped that it quickly developed plans to abandon its California headquarters, lay off numerous employees, even as it extended its top two executives large pay. <laughs> what happened to the days of the CEOs making a yeah, dollar? The large pay increases? They're wild. So it was 500,000 initially or after the pay increase. That's, that's really, really wild to me. And now I guess we know why he showed us those bank statements initially. I guess it's it's just to further paint the picture of what is happening here. Without it, it will be like, okay, you get sued, it's fine. But yeah, to me, because I'm not, I'm not a Sue Andy. I don't know. Because they just believed in their product. It was like, no, we got investors. We need half crazy. a million dollar salaries. Like <laughs> a half a million dollar salaries money. is what I'm doing. We got a 300 million evaluation. Okay, Henry, shut up. <laughs> like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. It sounds like they yoink the money. Because here's the thing. That salary, that half a million dollar salary, which I showed you, that shit's gone. It's gone. Okay? Uh, half a million salary. Can't even think about it. Who has a half a million salary? What's normal in uh, US for um, game devs? How much do Hearthstone game devs earn? <laughs> I had half a million. 250k? They live in Seattle. Wait, do they live in Seattle? <laughs> Some are expensive, I think. This is so. This is the most drama anything Hearthstone related ever had in like three years. They're making sub 100k. I think we, like, if we're really, really interested, we could look it up on like LinkedIn, I guess how much they're earning but 500k is excessive right so it has to be um, excessive. AVY made misrepresentations that it would you know induce work speed to rely on its misrepresentations to invest in AVY's game development effort which they did i wonder how much how much did ray not make as a streamer back in the day back in the day there weren't so many uh so many sponsors right like six years ago so there wasn't like great shadow legends who would pay uh a five thousand viewer andy like how much would they pay like twenty thousand <laughs> twenty thousand to stream it for two hours there was shadowverse oh okay. but did he make more than 500k maybe 
hey, we did that, all right? And that's how you got the $5 million out of us. Um, you know, they talked about the $200 million valuation, which I'm like, which company gave them this $200 million valuation, okay? So they want all their money back plus interest, plus interest. Second, oh, and um, then he second also made action, Temple Storm. Trust. He made a whole esports company. Wow, the whole Temple Storm stuff. Eloise was on there. Who else was on Temple Storm? Like they must have made a lot of money with other other sponsors and stuff. I kind of forgot about it. He probably made more streaming than than five hundred k. Ah, maybe not. Like with his company. Mm. Esports doesn't make money though, but at the time it did because it had a lot of potential. So the the po investors were still there, I would assume. You don't think it was that profitable? It never made money. How do you know? Did he say that? Oh, okay. Um, plaintiff against all defendants. Oh, Trump was um, on Temple the Storm thing. too. They're going after the BTSC, okay? Because. War because AVY put their money into BTSC. Warp Speed thus entitled to a declaration that any AVY and BTSE are involuntary trustees of the money invested by Warp Speed in AVYs. Tempo also sold a lot of team. He made a lot when he sold his Counter Strikes team. Dude, imagine he sold people. If you think about that, how do you sell a whole team? But I guess you also do that in soccer, football, whatever. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> request that the court impose a construct it sounds and that's not how i meant it but how can you sell a team <laughs> i don't know yeah I, I don't know any anything about sports i get yeah i don't know the trust over the money that avy has deposited in one or more bts accounts in an amount sufficient to return plaintiff to the amount plaintiff would own Dude, had it not I invested in avy together with Jesus. applicable interest yeah, now, this is a millionaire gamer that very wrong. got well over $35 million and has not delivered the game from investors. Like, if this was from regular people, it'd be a class action lawsuit. If this was like CryptoZoo, class action lawsuit. So, hey, Who's all we want is our $5 million and a request for jury. Now, there's an interview. Where's the interview at? Um, give me a second. This is not it, but it's on this channel where he does a little bit of talking about I, I okay I crypto guys which yeah they're worth I a lot that's not the one. love uh, the arena is... talking videos give me a second i gotta i gotta Can't pull it help up it. Uh, but what do you guys think of this story would you invest you any me. money in a crypto zoo trading card game would you do it give me a second i see my editor is messaging me like crazy i don't know what the hell he talking about <laughs> um but let me go to the interview Q and A part one. Sorry, Q and A part one. Because he's about to talk about it. I don't need the hand. Give me a second. Look at that hand. He's about to talk about the whole. We were like running out. How can you say no minutes. to investing? He talks about running out of money. This is crazy fundraising right here. Types mighty fist if you. Three hundred million dollar man, and he talked. He gives you the story. <laughs> from his <laughs> life. <laughs> running out of the money you raised from the Series A. I need to raise a Wait, Series B. Wait, types Man, fundraising is like the most stressful fucking thing for me. I hate sales. <laughs> I. I want to make the game, not pitch, you know? And um, I ended up traveling the world for like six months, going to these different conferences <laughs> and then pitching everyone. And it was, it was just uh, this exhausting, stressful you thing. You pre for $200? Like, I did it, of dollars. but I, I would still. I want to say still. well over $50,000. Traveling the world, looking for people to invest in his game. <laughs> I seem thirsty. Man, I got to do this. No. I don't. We run out of cash, and then I'm going to have to like ship the game in an unfinished state and all that. But we ended up um, raising like, really good amount of money at really really good terms at the right time like really just executed it well um and yeah so i, I once it was done i i don't know I, I think i built like bad habits to cope with the stress while that was happening um smoking too much weed that <laughs> kind of thing on the weekends to <laughs> decompress <laughs> funny without the context but oh it is a lot of stress but the context of getting like five hundred thousand a year i mean what's your work schedule normally this is the guy who's like hey man i got this great idea a stoner traveling the world with a game that's undeveloped built on the 
on the blockchain. I would and he got the money it. too. Like people was I like, yeah, man, that's a great it. idea. That was a great crib. You, you got a two hundred million dollar valuation with zero product, zero to show for it. This is kind of like Phase Clan being worth a billion dollars and not even doing like two billion dollars or uh, yeah, two billion in like revenue or having a billion in assets or five hundred million in assets. Just an idea. Like, hey, Dude, we're gonna I am now a Henry Brazilian fan. I I love the guy. <laughs> to promote this shit, to promote other games, and people are gonna pay us for advertisement. And then like a billion dollar evaluation? How? It just sold for like 16 million. But this guy was able to travel and convince people that his his NFT trading card game that was that's not a Hearthstone ripoff is gonna be the next greatest and latest thing. Did you get enough sleep? He I definitely get enough. Zag uh, website again. I did say earlier that this looks like a lease with four arms. I mean, the, the art, I feel like, is almost better than Hearthstone. Look at the colors, look at the perspectives. But it looks very, very similar. It looks like Hearthstone, too. But the gameplay would be kind of different from what I've seen. Like, two seconds. Enough sleep now. I didn't. I didn't for most of my twenties. I didn't, but it is a priority now. Like, I, I sleep pretty well. But um, no, my work schedule is like a, a phone calls, like eight to five at random times, and just a lot of a lot of research, a lot of a lot of just thinking. Um, thinking about how you gonna pay the goddamn money back, man. <laughs> um, I I couldn't oh, do no, it. He's I being sued for five million dollars. Um, I don't know when we're going to get the response. And here, oh like, here, how did I come across this case? Somebody sent it to me. <laughs> Somebody was like, "Hey, this guy is not good. <laughs> Cover this lawsuit." And I said, "I looked into it. I got the court docs, and sure enough, no one's covering it. I mean, I'm not the biggest streamer, but if someone with like a bigger channel was to cover this guy's life and see like the rise and..." Is this a fall? Is this considered a, the fall of Raynet? No, it's I don't know. still, it's like a little uh, valley, maybe. I think the mountains will come once Bazaar releases. Just the mountains are coming. We just, we just need to get another 11 million to get to, to, get to the release date. Please, another 11 million. Just one more time. We're almost there. We're almost there. I mean, he was big. Guys, he was XQC before there was XQC. Now we're about to get into some good stuff. Because I said I wanted to end on a positive note. <laughs> I wanted to end on some positivity. <laughs> um, but I don't think I'm done talking about this guy. We may double back. Because oh, yeah. we have to follow up on this $5 million lawsuits. Okay? I'm invested. <laughs> can sell that $6 million convertible. I'm invested. Almost as hard I would invest is still in Jurelat's company. I still believe. <laughs> uh, he I already just fell don't off. have so mm, much money. Here's the thing, right? He did take a chance to become a millionaire or a billionaire. If his game would have worked, if the development would have been what it needed to be at the right time, at the right place, he would have been, he would have been great. But what happened is CryptoZoo and all your NFTs crashed. Hold on, let's look it up. Now we got time. Now we got time. We'll get to XUC in a second. Board Ape Worth. <laughs> you see Board Ape Worth. Nine, I want more. I want more tea. <clears throat> wow. Any last thoughts, chat? On this? I am not surprised. He's getting sued because it's just getting pushed back and pushed back with the release date. And when they promised a release years before, it just makes sense. But will the lawsuit, <coughs> will the lawsuit break Reynard? Will, will it break Temple Storm, AV or whatever it was called? And for how much are they suing? I already forgot. It, it just said more than 25,000 at the start. But they didn't say any numbers, but I don't know how lawsuits work. They just want their 5 million investment back? <coughs> I mean, would that break the company? I don't know. Why not? Just get a new investor. 
about 30 million. Let's go to the factual allegation. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Who's going to invest after these scandals? Maybe he's going to make, make like a Twitch stream and ask some viewers. <laughs> Donation goal. I would donate. I would give you 20 euros. <laughs> Actually, Slicker. Do you remember the Slicker drama? Oh no, it's not as bad as Slicker though. If you don't know the Slicker drama, he was he was a streamer who was quite popular for a while, and <clears throat> he asked viewers, he asked other streamers for money. And then he just kept gambling it away online and then lost the money. And then he asked for more money. I think like 200,000 in the end around that number. A really, really high number. And then he was just like asking more and more people to make the money back. And he said he wanted to pay the people back that he got the money from initially. And then he kept gambling, kept gambling and lost all the money and i think then ludwig and another streamer paid all the people back he's got the money from <sighs> that's why slicker 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 begging is uh, an emote my chat is too small coke in gamble i don't know about coke <laughs> i don't know i'm not a drug lady damn if he needs more money, why doesn't he give himself another race? Exactly! Like, damn! Five million donation goal! <laughs> Dude, I honestly think people in Hearthstone, they're such big Reynards fans. They would still give him money. <laughs> but not five million! There are not even five million players left! We're like, we're like a thousand players left! If everyone gives him all his... All their life savings. Maybe. Maybe we can do it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All of us together. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm too, like, upset. Not upset, but, you know, aufgewühlt to, uh, to play a game now. <laughs> like, fuck, this fucked me up. What would I do with your life savings? How much is it? <laughs> Depends. I would maybe make a company, call it uh, Slow Cloud. The, yeah, Slow Cloud, a little bit like Tempo Storm. <laughs> and then I would make a game called The Grocery Store. <laughs> It's a card game where you get cards in a grocery store, but not, not in a bazaar. <laughs> How about that? Who invests? I would invest in myself. I give five million. Who will be my developer? Maybe I will um, message some Battlegrounds devs that follow me on Twitter. And then I will pay myself 500,000 uh, per year with your investments. <laughs> Damn. Wait, I'm missing the backpack, backpack music. Oh, I did see a bizarre video where he hired... Um, oh man, it was actually good. He hired like uh, a music Andy to make the bizarre music and I listened to it. Five years ago. Wait, I'm trying to find it. It was really, really good. Ah, but I can't find it.
24 hours the making of the bazaar? Number 37? A year ago. Every time we. Man, I wanna. I wanted to listen to the music. Look, I watched this! You see this when the, when this Reddit is mean you means you watched it. I was invested! Okay, didn't watch all this crap. 2,000 views. Licketing explained. Why would you explain a card? When there's no game, who cares? <laughs> who cares about a card that they can't play with? <clears throat> Making subscraper. Oh, but it is very interesting. I love art shit. And here they sped it up. Like speed painting. Wow. You can see the people working on the game. They're very talented. Just have to look at it for two seconds. Jesus. Wow. I'm so impressed already. Look at the values. Wow, with black and white it looks like that? Oh. Oh my god. Who did that? Crazy. Wow. Yeah, look, that's what I mean. I would invest all my money. This is the things that I saw. This is the things that I saw I, and I thought I would get in 2021. Maybe even earlier. Maybe 2020 I thought I would get it. Ah. Oh. Wasted talent. Now it's so, like, tainted with a lawsuit. But maybe it would not taint it too much. What else is here? Oh, this is the gameplay. Hello! Welcome to the making of the bazaar. In this episode, I'm going to talk about shiny and fancy items. Four and ten items in your board. They did put a lot of effort into these videos. But the bazaar is a game that takes place over ten days. Like, if even the editing. Four times a day, that's 40 choices. What? Where are you going to put all those extra items? So, we went to look combine good. items. Enter lines with the previous copy. These two... It does look good. I like that it's so colorful. Yeah. That is really, really nice. I mean, I don't really understand the gameplay. I know they explained it. But I'm like a person who needs to do it themselves to uh, really grasp it and to see if it's fun i feel like it's very very hard to see someone play a game and to know if it's fun or not <laughs> like i need to i need to grab the mouse and do it myself to see if i like it oh man look there's so much making of i mean like they said it might be a scam but it's not a scam. Like, who? <laughs> Do all of this. It's crazy. At first, I focused on what had already been Just done. Just a the lot of dumb look decisions. At kind of look at that character design. This is new. This is fresh, but also familiar. I love it. Oh, Since my God. I wanted to get familiar with the art that has already oh, she's been so good. To understand what how to get this stuff. That's so cool. Looks like an avatar. But... Like a lizard! Lizard avatar! In Hearthstone! <laughs> Look at the lighting! Oh, it's so oh, good! Right. After getting a good idea of the artistic style, I, I just options. love art. I imagined it as a small creature, and so I thought of In an alternative u uh, universe, where I took different decisions in my life, I would have been an artist. I swear about introducing a stand or even a step ladder to put the character at eye level this would the have second been option is a merchant dream job, some jewelry or a kind of luxury fabric in the third option i thought to make him look more cunning Aww. he is holding some bills behind his back but generally he's very cute yeah you probably don't care look <laughs> Let's check out. I, I want to listen to the music. Like the music. I, I remember seeing a, a video years, 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 years ago. He had a whole orchestra or something. Or like a DJ. Not, not a DJ. How do you call a 
people who work on a program and make orchestra with one button. One person orchestra. But with a, um, a composer. Yeah! And he, he, I think he made different things too. Like uh, for another game. <laughs> Worst joke? Dude, I'm not trying to make jokes. I, I just don't, I'm not a native English speaker. And I have to find different words to explain the same thing sometimes. Du Arschgesicht. Why, why, why are you dissing me? In the chat. Why are you dissing me? <laughs> Jesus. The film said. Welcome back to another update video. <laughs> Sitting there, leaned back like a, like a true CEO. <laughs> he probably spread his legs very wide too. <laughs> That's so Love the it. Bizarre. Today, I want to show you our new set. Two years ago, he was still relaxed, and now there's lawsuit. I think he would be sitting differently now. <sighs> Dude, I would be sitting in a corner shivering. At this point, <laughs> like if I was making a video, I would sit in the corner shivering and talk about my game, the bizarre. <laughs> oh my, media producer on the bazaar. Wow! This looks like a whole Netflix uh, documentary. Post production director. Look there! Look there! They are working on it! Two years ago, like that already! They're also talented! Jesus! Wow. Wow! Oh my god. It was really, really ambitious. That's what I meant with Reynard being very, very perfectionist. You know? Like, what, like, if you see the whole picture and how Reynard started and gets into this and flay, built a career on criticizing Hearthstone, like, a lot. I mean, that's what you do as a streamer when you play. <laughs> you play the game so much, but he always said Hearthstone's like shitty design sometimes or could be a lot better and then he's making his own game and of course he's gonna get compared to Hearthstone and he doesn't want clips to get taken and said Omega Le Bazaar is worse than Hearthstone. I think that's what's happening and that's why it's taking so goddamn long. <laughs> But that's why I'm still hopeful. If it releases, I think it would be great if they have enough money. That's where all the money goes. Why are you making a video about working? Well, it's content. It's how the internet works. It's basically free marketing. But producing that also takes a little bit of money. You need an editor, you need a film crew. It looks like film crew made this. Looks like Netflix production. And then you get 4.8 thousand views. That's a lot of minus in money. But it's it's to keep the hype alive, you know? But how do you keep the hype alive for, f for six years without a game? That seems like an impossible task. They should have just done this, like this stuff. Maybe this year. If they're releasing next year, you know, around this time. But then, look, then you can say maybe they didn't know it would take so long. Because who does consciously do the decision of releasing stuff like that three years before it's done? Nobody does that. 
So it was a surprise to them too. You know, you can you see what I'm thinking? Nobody does that. It would be dumb. Man. Dude, I see the potential so fucking hard. Look at that! They made a whole new language! They're here! Simlish! <laughs> Simlish stuff! I don't know. Jesus! Oh, wow. Real gold. <laughs> it was real gold. That's where the 11 million went. In that bo into that box. Ah, <laughs> uh, so relaxing video. Was that the weapons in the game? Looks like it, like you put yeah a knuck. How do you call that? Knuckle hitter. Ring finger. No ring something brass knuckles yeah oh my god they made they made the weapons in real life and they're presenting it some, like something beautiful in a muse museum I actually love it I would go to the mu museum oh my It is very, very extra. And then you look at backpack battles made by two people. It's made by a couple, by the way. They just made it, put a demo out. <laughs> Doesn't cost any money. You can't even buy any skins. And they're blowing up. <laughs> Could have made something like that. Instead, six years development. And they get sued. And it's 200, 200 million. And then Backpack Battlers does the same thing with two people. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, How fr Dude, imagine you're Reynard and then you see Backpack Battlers success. With no investors. Nothing. Oh. Try to put yourself in his shoes. You made some shit uh, decisions. Now everything is crumbling. AC backpack battle. It does look... Backpack battle does look a little bit like shit. <laughs> eh! But you get used to it and then it's endearing. And it's cute. <laughs> Oh um, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm really impressed. Look at that! Look, this is Photoshop. How do you make that in Photoshop? Do you see what I make in Photoshop? This shit! Wait, is this real or is it Photoshop? I see candles. So they're showing us how they drew it in Photoshop and then replicated this. This is the real thing. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at how talented these people are. Of course, they get a lot of money. They, you need to pay them a lot. Wow. You know, at this point, it's all dust all over. And it's a new set. <laughs> it 
<laughs> but gets used in five years the the franchise crumbling. <laughs> Dust all over and then it may be invaded by goblins. A new set pog. Dude, you could make a whole Netflix documentary out of the all of this. Like the how the bizarre how the bizarre development went, like with Raynad. He's like a big character too, you know? <laughs> like, Jesus. And then, ah, uh, the initial beef with Wreckfall and stuff. Oi, 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 I can see it. Wow. I don't know, I'm so impressed. Do you like looking at this too? I can watch this stuff forever. And imagine you're one of those people who were initially so hyped. Like, you have to be so hyped to put all your passion into a project like that. And they're doing everything so fucking perfect. You have your talent there. Like, the top of the top talent, it looks like it at least. And then you're making something for five years and five years and suddenly you get fucking sued and you don't even know if your game comes out. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. Imagine... Imagine the oh, <sighs> yeah, they have making of of so many characters, game balance and pacing two years ago, but they probably changed it since then. Look here, I watched it. I watched it two years ago. Raynard and Ben answer your questions. And Tia, durability cost. I watched that. And Tia, I was invested three years ago already. Three years ago, I watched this shit. Oh, not shit. It's, it was actually not shit. Damn. Welcome to the bazaar. Three years ago. Wait, why Our is there Muzzy? Our in a faraway place with a really dashingly handsome young man. I don't remember man. this. Sam's delivery... <laughs> Okay, damn. That was slick. Our story begins in a faraway look place. At that, look at that wink with the sound effects. With a really dashingly handsome young man. Not sandwich wink. How do you call that? A mouth wink. A little, um... A little slick smile. Free driver by day. <laughs> Mac. Unlucky card game player by night. After 1,001 <laughs> top decks, Rayna took his knowledge yeah, and turned it into a business. Doing what he knew best card games his esports team started signing players players who must do i feel like a, a industry how do you call it a placement to try to <laughs> to try to make him look industry flat industry flat by Raynard. <laughs> to save the image of the bazaar she <laughs> I'll be a uh, bizarre ambassador. <laughs> players who knew how to friend. avoid top decks. Those players started winning a lot. Quickly turning a one man it is org a to commercial success virtually overnight, taking the industry by storm. As the story goes, Tempo. Changed a few things, focusing on industry-leading interactive Wait, entertainment. Leading interactive entertainment, focusing on in ah, fuck. focusing it's Jake on Jake and Bake or not? Jake and Bake and Raynard. Industry-leading interactive entertainment while growing its esports presence. Oh, and did I mention that they're developing a strategy game? We have more updates to share from someone who knows them best. Smell the spices. Browse our wares. So Meet. fucking cool. Imagine. Okay. So, so, I don't want to be she. <laughs> but imagine one of those Hearthstone streamers that are streaming right now. Make a game like that. 
Who is comparable to Reynard at the moment? Like size wise? Dog, maybe? Imagine Dog suddenly brings out a trailer like that. The hype? The fucking hype I would feel? Oh. Yeah, but when it takes six years again, that's the problem. The I mean, Dog wouldn't do it. <laughs> of course, Dog wouldn't do it. <laughs> you know, imagine if you would. And we don't have a Raynard at the moment. Definitely not. What's up, guys? It's Raynard back. This is our brand new bizarre he looks so YouTube young. channel. It's going to be the place where we're posting any and all updates about the game. Compare this Raynard to today, Raynard. Damn. Then you know how long it's been going on. Make sure you sub, make sure you follow. And welcome to the bizarre. I think at this point they just didn't fucking know it would take six years. Can't wait for your 2029 bizarre streams. I would definitely stream the game. Where it comes out. Yeah.